everyone, it's Sandra and it's time for part two of my products I've used up video. This is very random. I'm going to get started with the only hair care product and it's this. This is by Fakai. This is the Frederick Fakai Essential Shea, the mask. This was great. It lasted a very long time. It's a very thick mask. I just use this as a conditioner about once a week on my hair. I would definitely repurchase this. This was great. It smells very nice and it definitely made my hair feel a lot stronger and thicker. Next thing is this body wash. I found this in like the, the healthy section, the health food section at the grocery store. And I decided to give it a try. It's one of these, the Dr. Bronner's, Bronner's Magic Soap. And it's completely soap free. It's supposed to be free of all these chemicals. It's just very natural. I mistakenly bought the mint scented one. And uh, it's nice and, and minty, but it is, it was awful. <laughs> I, I really, I struggled using up the whole thing. It's a very liquidy soap. So it kind of just goes everywhere. You tend to waste a lot of product. And also, I, it's too minty. It's so minty that it would actually irritate my eyes just because like the steam, the mint and the steam, I guess it would work well if you're sick or congested. Um, and I am kind of sick and congested now. So maybe now, now it, it kind of, you know, it can help, it can help decongest me. However, uh, literally my eyes would be kind of itchy and, and it would, they would burn because of the, the vapors of the mint. So it's a little bit too minty. I know they have, uh, they have a couple of other varieties of this, but um, to be honest, even just as a even as a soap, I just found it a little bit weirdly enough. I found it really drying, even though it's supposed to to just be soap free and supposed to have all these oils. But yeah, I wasn't really too impressed with this. Next up, a couple of um, facial <laughs> facial sprays. I got the little baby travel bottle of Fix Plus and a regular bottle of Fix Plus. Fix Plus is just one of those things that I always like to have in my collection. I don't use it so much um, to fix my makeup anymore because I did discover the Urban Decay, Urban Decay D Slick, which I prefer for setting the makeup because it's actually a makeup setter. Fix Plus isn't a makeup setter. It's just more of um, it's a little, it's a lot, it's a lot wetter. Um, the mist is very, very wet, which is why I prefer this. The, the mist of the Urban Decay is a lot finer, um, and I just, I just really, I, I like the way that feels at the end of putting on the makeup a lot better. I'm not even really sure what I'm trying to say, but Fix Plus is nice. Sometimes I, I buy it. Sometimes I get nostalgic and I buy Fix Plus again. But when it comes to actually fixing the makeup and you know applying it as a setting spray, um, I. Definitely prefer the Urban Decay D Slick. This is just a little travel uh, bottle that I got of this that I've used up. I've since purchased the big one. Um, I've gone through a couple of those already. I've used the All Nighter one as well, but I tend to prefer D Slick just because I find that it does actually help hold the oils at bay longer. So um, definitely would would probably repurchase. I have repurchased this. I've repurchased this over the years. I'm probably going to repurchase it again at some point. Skincare wise, I've I've used up one another one of these uh, these Clarisonic brush heads. I've actually repurchased it. This is I'm not gonna sh like open it and show you, but this is the old one. But um, I kept I kept the box to show you. This is the acne cleansing one. I'm very happy with this, and I kept this because um, in my in my skincare routine video, I got really confused. I I thought for some reason that the bristles had benzoyl peroxide in them, but they don't. They just have this statement in it that was weird and that made me think that because it just says. It's for acne prone skin, extra plush bristle gradation combined with velvet like bristle tips delivers concentrated pore flushing while being ultra sensitive on compromised skin. Benzoyl peroxide may bleach green bristles. So they just have a random sentence mentioning benzoyl peroxide which kind of in my brain made me think that oh do the bristles have benzoyl peroxide in them? But they don't. It's just letting you know that in case that you're using benzoyl peroxide products that they might bleach the bristles. I just thought it was a weird statement to put in, so that's why in my head I kind of connected them together. So um, this does not have benzoyl peroxide in the bristles, it just has um, soft bristles and uh, it's very gentle yet provides a very deep cleanse. And I also used up this, this is a Laura Mercier Fresh Fig Souffle Body Cream. Laura Mercier hands down makes some of the best smelling body lotions and stuff like that. The Fresh Fig scent is perfect for summer. Um, I actually want to buy the fragrance that they have next summer. I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. I've really been into fig lately. This is just a great lotion. Very lightweight, perfect for summer. Um, I'm also using the body butter, the coconut. I think it's called almond coconut. 
but that's like a, it's a thicker formula of the body butter that I'm using right now for the winter time that's also one of my all-time favorites so um, definitely recommend Laura Mercier body care if you have if you have a little bit of extra money to spend because it's not cheap but it's a nice treat I have three mascaras that I've used up. The first is the Revlon 3D Volume. This is very nice. It's not my the usual my usual type of mascara because it does have like those plasticky type of bristles. I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, but uh, this is actually very similar to Benefit The Real. It has uh, it has those spikes at the end of the brush as well. This is very nice for daytime. It didn't transfer on me. Um, if you are into lash, if you want lash separation and volume, but you want your lashes to remain defined, I would recommend this mascara. I tend to go towards more thicker, voluminous lashes, so um, these two I liked more. Prestige My Blackest Lashes, this is hands down my favorite drugstore mascara. It's still my favorite drugstore mascara, but like I said, sometimes you know you want to try something new. And I also used up YSL Full Seal Shocking. This was amazing. I love this. I might even love this more than Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, which was my favorite high-end mascara. Because this does the same thing that Smoky Lash does, except it doesn't dry out on me after three weeks. The only thing is, it's very, very clumpy. So what I do is I just, I make sure I, I kind of wipe the product off and then I apply and if, if you wiggle and apply at the same time, you don't get as much clump action as you would if you just kind of apply it straight from the tube. But one coat of this does what two coats of this does. So I really, really, really like this and I would definitely repurchase this. I would repurchase both, um, but obviously I can't. I don't have $32 lying around to spend on mascara every time I run out, but uh, this is a nice cheaper alternative. I definitely enjoyed using up all these mascaras. And last but not least, I used up a Dazzle Glass by MAC. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen it before. This was Baby Sparks, and it was nice, but I would never repurchase this. I would actually never repurchase another Dazzle Glass as is. I just think they're a big ripoff because of the amount of product that you get, and they're sticky, and there's just other lip glosses out there that I love way more. So. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't get too rambly there. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them below. Other than that, I will see you next time with a new video. Bye.